Hey guys, welcome back in my shop. Bart Harkema here in the shop in the north of the Netherlands. And I'm here with another video about uh, bandsaw adventures. Um, I bought this Huvema bandsaw uh, two weeks ago. And um, it's uh, quite a nice model. Uh, for me it fits perfectly in the shop. I was looking for a bandsaw for some time. Um, and I didn't want to have too light of a version, so this one is 210 kilos, so it's nice and solid, but it's still movable and it has the wheels so it can move around in the shop if I need to. Um, and this model also can tilt the head all the way up, uh, so I can do horizontal and vertical uh, sawing on it. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, the model and uh, that's why I bought it. Um, I bought it for, I think it was a good price, the status was not too nice, but I did test it and it did run and so I bought it and brought it home. When I brought it home I started cleaning the base and um, then I noticed there was a crack in the casting. So on this frame over here, but on this point on this point right here, that's I think it's a weak point in the design. It cracked and I'm not sure what caused that, but yeah, at least uh, it, it was already um, repaired, but somebody didn't do a good job on that. So it cracked again um, and they nicely repainted it, um, so I didn't see that. So um, yeah, that was quite uh, annoying, um, but I still decided, okay, I won't bring it back. Um, the guy who sold it to me did offer that, but I want to keep it and repair it um, and I think uh, this model fits me nicely, so that's why I, uh, I decided to do a, a yeah, repair job on it. So that's what this video is about and uh, yeah, let's uh, uh, take you on this uh, journey of uh, repairing and improving this bandsaw. So this is how I bought the machine. So it was time for a good cleaning. So here you can see the crack in the cast iron frame and next to it it was nicely welded. Look at that beauty. And I started drilling some holes at the end of the crack and yep it was cast iron so it was time to clean everything and prepare it for welding. And here you can see the old weld. Some grinding, grinding out the cracks and making everything clean for welding. And then it was time to preheat the casting. Uh, I slowly took my time, 10, maybe 15 minutes to heat it all up. Uh, I could get it to about 100 degrees in total. I didn't want too much of a hot spot and then started welding. So for welding I used a 316 uh, stainless steel wire. I didn't have a special cast iron rod uh, for welding this. Uh, normally you would use more uh, nickel rod, but I couldn't get these in the short term here locally and I did want to finish this repair. And I uh, already did some stainless steel wire on cast iron before and that worked out okay. Um, so it's not the perfect solution, but the nickel um, does absorb uh, the high carbon uh, 
uh, content and uh, remains a little ductile. Uh, with the stainless steel rod, the 316 or even the 309, also both have quite some nickel in it, uh, 11 to 14 percent, and so they also both absorb a little bit of these uh, carbons. And you see me really pushing the rod in there, so it really needs that rod to hold on to. Um, but that does work um, it's not the best some say okay the uh, helm can be a problem because the helm will, um, will make chromium carbides and those are quite hard and brittle but um, yeah with some uh, preheat and small welds and you also see me peening in between um, it does work I had one crack at one end so it was time for some uh, grinding and then re-welding it but then it worked out fine and I got it all together it's not the most beautiful looking weld but it is without any cracks one thing that was important here and you see the whole frame is bent and I did uh, calculate with that in front um, and now it's time for some straightening and pinning the weld but the frame is more an L shape and when you weld one side it will always shrink and it will pull and bend but because it had the ability to shrink it didn't crack so if you can imagine if the frame is too stiff then the possibility of a new crack will be much faster and now I just welded it and let it uh, bend a little bit and then preheat and pin it and pushed it back and it, this was straight enough for me and after some grinding the weld was done. So the weld was done but the frame still has a weak point and it's more in the design itself so I decided to make a support frame for it. So the cold rolled steel is a little bit easier to weld, um, but still small welds and some air in between to cool it, not to get too much tension on the uh, cast iron frame. Small welds and cooling in between. But I really prefer full welds, so I welded it all together cooling it in between and moving back and forward to keep it from warping or bending too much. And yes, it did pull a little bit, but nothing that I can't handle. Luckily, I'm good with the hammer and the anvil. So uh, yeah, made it fit. It was important that the uh, support frame didn't put too much tension on the cast iron. So I really wanted to have a good fit on that. Because the frame didn't was perfectly straight, there was a little high point and I put down two welds that did pull the support frame a little bit out of straightness, but that way it had a nice fit and after some grinding it did fit very nicely. 
no tension on the frame there was only just a little twist at the end as you can see here but the support frame doesn't have much strength in that torque direction and it doesn't need it so it will easily form to the frame Because the protection cover didn't fit the new support frame, I had to straighten up this uh, part and then uh, reshape it again to fit the new frame. Originally the cover is held on to the frame with two bolts, but I decided to go with the quick relief system. And after some new paint and putting everything back together, the machine is ready again. So guys, the repair is done, cast iron welding was a bit of a challenge but I managed to get it done and with the extra frame support I think it will hold for many years. Um, the design itself I think is support design um, with the sharp corner over here on cast iron frame, um, that's never a good thing. So they should have made it a nice round corner of here, but they didn't and maybe that was why it cracked in the first place. But now I think it will hold for a long time and I'm looking forward to using it. I also did a lot of other repairs on the uh, bandsaw, like new bearings, new blades, new wheels, stuff like that. But that was too long for one video and I decided it would be easier to watch to make a two part series. Um, so I will do that in the second part and focus this one on the repair of the frame itself. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe even learned something. Um, and uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye bye.